Welcome back to another Ancient Max's Bride review. Today is episode 7. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. <laughs> Together we're Couch Talk. Before we get into this, again, no spoilers down below. We are anime viewers only, so no other sources of information do we know. Um, and <laughs> what am I saying? Anyway, I'm, we're going to discuss and review the episode. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's One do day it. I'll get these intros down perfectly. Maybe. Until that day. Maybe. I won't bet on it. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this. So right in the beginning, we have Alice and Renfred with the um, young sorcerer, who we're going to refer to, the evil sorcerer. Right. <laughs> well, we, before that, sure just quickly, name. we saw the little black, the black dog. Yes, I guess that is true. Which, was that right before it, or was that it, right it after? It was right before it. Oh, it was, you know, in the graveyard. But we'll talk about that later since was. it's yeah. since it's a character, but it's just uh, a little foreshadow. Yes. So we get the evil sorcerer is quite a... Very upset they didn't get the um, corruption from the last episode. But this also confirms how I thought Renfred... And Alice were good people, but were forced into a bad situation. And you said you thought the evil sorcerer took his arm. And which all gets clarified basically right up front. I'll say, it's, it all seems to be true. Because <laughs> Alice, Alice seems like a very nice person. She's just yes. concerned with the well-being of Renfred. And Renfred just seems to... Concerned with her well-being. Because like, the evil sorcerer keeps saying, hey... I'm gonna kill Alice or whatever. Yeah, and he's for doing real. it to protect her. He, like he says, a master protects their apprentice. Exactly. And if this little shit sorcerer wanted that corruption, why didn't he go get it himself? If he's so tough, maybe he had some. I would say typically, oh, maybe he had something else to do. But clearly, that was not the case. <laughs> as he was watching in the forest, and he only spares them because he got to see um, Elias. <clears throat> yeah. Or Pilium something and the other. Pilium money. But right after that, we go to um, Chise. Chise learning magic. So ever since she got the truth out of Elias, he's been teaching her magic. Yeah, uh, I really like this. She's obviously making an effort to learn magic, and you can tell and they're, they're... And at the same time, they're doing it to help like people, because she was doing it for someone. Right. So not only is she learning to control magic for herself... And her own well-being, but it's also for, like, good use and good yes. purposes. Um, and all these little animals are adorable. They are. <laughs> they the sheep thing or whatever that is, it's like a mini sheep with, <laughs> with fly wings, I don't know, a dragonfly combined with it, who knows. Uh, just passes out because she used too much, she used the wrong proportions and made a sleeping magic <laughs> potion instead of making something to just help with insomnia which i feel like go hand in hand it'd be fine yeah exactly um i do like how learning uh, a lot yeah i do like how uh the next scene we get more we get a little bit of a peek between the relationship of elias and the church the church so yeah they get their <clears throat> last request from the church which is go check out this black dog um and he says the church, he gets requests so the church will leave him alone, essentially because of something he did in the past, a mistake he made. Yes. Uh, which, again, we can only assume it has something to do with the mistake that the uh, Titania and the uh, first century guy were talking about last episode, where it was Oberon in the century, did not. I, Titania just made a small comment, but uh, about how. There was a conflict between the humans and the fairies. Right. So, I feel like this is a church's way of making sure the conflicts don't happen again. Yeah. But they don't seem like a bad organization by any means. Um, the, at least oh, the church? Not yet, yeah. They just seem to be keeping tabs on them. They're just like, hey, do these tasks for us, and we'll leave you alone as much as we can. Just don't do what you did. Which we don't know what it was, which I'm sure we'll learn soon, but... Yes. Uh, <clears throat> and then we get a gift from Angelica for Chise, 
a ring to help control how much music uh music magic <laughs> she, she can cons- uh, like basically brings in and consumes right. uh, and it's kind of has relations to do with her emotions where if she's calm it'll be a lot slower of coming in that way she doesn't you know take in too much and like die quicker or whatever <laughs> die yeah it's to yeah, help her die. not die essentially yes um so if she gets excited or whatever, then it comes in a lot faster. Which I feel like this is easy for her. She has a pretty calm personality already. She's pretty just stoic most of the time. Ninety percent of the time. <clears throat> and uh she's still kinda She brings up how Elias hasn't mentioned anything since they had that little the marriage talk. Loving relationship kind of feeling. Uh, yeah. But he's just kind of focused on what he has to get done. Right. He, he... Yeah, it's kind of hard to have this conversation with her when you have to learn how to keep her from dying. <laughs> you got to do these requests from the church. You got to teach her magic. Yeah. People Maybe are out to get her. Like, yeah, exactly. There's tons of shit. It's hard to have time for conversation. Right. Um, but we get to the the church where they're going to because that's where black dogs like to hang out is at church graveyards. And there's a dead woman there. Yeah, there's a corpse. A crime scene, actually. A crime scene, yes. Um, someone died. It looked like they were torn up by a dog. Yeah, that's exactly uh, what it looked like. And um, they didn't do so well. Just what I wanted to bring up during this scene is Chise seemed very sh- shaken. Because she was, like, telling herself, don't look, don't look, don't look. Yes. I'm not 100% sure. what. Maybe she kind of fears death now. Death now I feel like, or that, like that last episode with Matthew and uh, Mina has really, like we were talking about, has made her care more about life. Right. To where she doesn't want to die. Like, again, she gets asking, when am I going to die or whatever. And I feel like that's finally starting to take a strong place in her mind to where she's actually starting to value life and her own life. That she, And seeing other people dead might scare her. Right, I think, I think she was very... Yeah, she obviously gets was going to get freaked out if she looked at it. She even ran away. And she even conveniently ran to the cemetery. Yes. Which, goddamn, this shit scared me. When she was walking through, she sees all the little, like, they look like Corruption. small corruptions. Yes. And then that thing appeared behind her. That like, was terrifying. Yeah, I'm tr- the thing looks very familiar from like a few other shows. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but I've seen stuff like this. But basically, it's just a like creepy ass like spider goo mixed with I don't even know how to describe it to be honest. Yeah, it's like, it has an uh, the, the But we learned that apparently you have to avoid answering their questions. Right. Uh, Chise says, this is one of the bad ones. Don't answer his questions or it will take you. Um, it was scary. Like, but it I... looked like it was going to take her anyway, even without answering questions. <laughs> it was... uh, dude, it's, a, oh, it's so creepy. It I'm is. Right like... now, running at her. Uh, it... and it's like, where are you going? Where to? Where are you going? Where, to? <laughs> where, where, it's like... where are you from, huh? Where? And huh? then I just... And then it goes to... Uh, the man who we learn is Ulysses, Ulysses, or something U- like that. Ulysses. Yeah, Ulysses. Um, who was looking for Isabel. It just goes to him. He's just kind of nonchalantly looking back. He's got the <laughs> white background. He's like, Isabel? And then he just insta kills it. Yeah, he just palms sure. his face and pops Which it. is good because it looks like it was going to eat, she say. His mouth was huge, wide open, a lot of big ass teeth. Yeah, hopefully we never see something like that. That was scary. If I was watching that at night by myself, I would have been freaked out so hard. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and Chise instantly realizes this person's not quite human. Which, I was like, what does that even mean? But we learn why like 10 seconds later. But he has, he has like injuries similar to the one of the corpse. Yes. Which is interesting because... Um, she say saw he was a dog, and she was like, "Did he do it?" Well, no, he has the same wounds. 
Right. So um, this so Ulius is the black dog that they were supposed yeah. to be investigating anyway. And he the, he kind of like he's very deeply looking for Isabel. But he knows Isabel can't be found. Like I don't know exactly if he's looking for her, he just misses her. I think he just misses her a lot. Um I think and of course she say reminds him of uh, Isabel, but she says like, "Man, you're too hurt. Like, you gotta stay here. Um, <laughs> you let chill. me heal you or whatever." And he just passes out. And this is where uh, Alice comes in. She's just like, "Hand over the dog. That's all I ask." <laughs> and it's like, uh, "That's quite a command there. <laughs> For real. Can't, can't just hand over the dog." Uh, <laughs> hand it over. Give me the dog. Over. He's like, unless you have a proper reason, I refuse. And then Alice doesn't give a reason. And that sleeping potion we got in the very beginning comes in handy. Good thing Chisei decided to grab some. Like it is. She's smart, so it would be a convenient like weapon or like not even a weapon, just like uh, if shit goes bad. <laughs> self-defense yeah or if something's terrifying you don't want to look at it just knock yourself out <laughs> like that thing i would be like i'll, I'll just chug the bottle just kill me in my sleep bye <laughs> all right we're good just uh, leave me alone so we get some of uh Ulysses pass yeah He's, they're brother uh, and sister right isn't that what they mentioned yeah that's what he says but it's kind of, he seems like her pet dog, though, but, um, he also mentions how they're both human, which is a weird thing to say, considering he's not human. Right. And he's she's a seen, dog. And she also seems I think to be. She's, I think she's fully human, and he's dog, and he just. How much, here, how much do you want to bet, because this show likes to do this shit when it comes to loved ones. How much you want to bet that that little evil sorcerer's fucking chimera is his sister? Or Isabel? Oh, I, I bet... I, not, I guarantee it. I, I would bet 90% that it's Isabel. Because my other thing was like, maybe she is human, but he wasn't. But he also... But at some point along the way, it became this black dog that could transform so right well at first i was like maybe the sorcerer turned him i'm like wait no the sorcerer wants him to make chimeras and i was like oh wait he's looking for a sister well he did well, well i guess he did mention she's under the ground i don't know yeah he uses very weird wording yeah he says she's under the dirt just and then she's just like so she's dead uh which is a good thing it's like uh but the hair is what reminds she, uh, him of Chisei to Isabel because she also has like red hair <laughs> but I think because uh, Ulysses never he always wanted to be with her protect her and stuff I feel like that might have caused a change for him to transform into a human being um, but yeah. again there's a lot of things and theories you could take out of this yeah I'm sure it'll ex- it all it, it usually explains. That's how they usually do it in this. We'll like have a conflict this episode and then explain the backstory the next episode. Uh, so Chisei kind of healed him. And they kind of have a nice little conversation. Not too much in there, just, uh, you know, we're. Uh, she was like, you remind me of a couple people. And then he's like, were they able to find love? She's like, well, you could say so. <laughs> But you could otherwise say so. Like, well, they found it, but after life, yeah, they after, were dead. They, after they turned into corruption, after they died, yada yada. Uh, Alice comes too. She says, kind of happy that the magic, the potion worked well and didn't make her sleep forever. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm glad it didn't last too long. Uh, but smart tying her hands, so she wouldn't be able to make any action when waking up. Right. And throughout this whole time, I was like, where's Elias? Like, he should have been here by now. Of course, hiding in the shadows once again. Yeah. 
Uh, but he doesn't appear until <clears throat> after Chise kind of gets the reasoning. See, I I like. About... He really he really wants to let her learn on her own because I'm assuming he was with her the whole time. Even with yes. that crazy ass mass demon was there, he didn't pop yeah, every out. Every time he disappears, he happens to already be there. So yeah, uh... he she this episode he really let her like do everything by herself. And then he popped up later, like, yeah, now I know what you're, I got gotcha. you. Yes, and she said, I need him to make a chimera. And, or, make I need him for material to make a chimera. And then she explains what a chimera is. And, yeah, she refers to the evil sorcerer as weird brat. But we're That's... referring to him as evil sorcerer. I mean, both are pretty accurate. Yeah, and... This is also, Renfred originally refused. I think he lost his arm because he refused. Exactly. And so that tells me, like, <clears throat> even though they're sorcerers, like, a lot of people don't like sorcerers, but there's obviously going to be good ones mixed in. They're not all going to be evil. And Renfred and Alice seem like good people. It's just, yeah, they obviously can't handle this guy. He's super tough. This Renfred evil. might come across maybe rude, but he still seems like a good person. Alice yes. seems like a... I feel like he's been twisted because, you know, losing his arm and now he's being forced to do all these bad things it's taking a toll on him mentally. right that little shit dude oh my god <laughs> like and we learn alice and chise are basically very similar uh alice had renfred to save her as chise has elias to save her yeah they do have a strong parallel which was interesting like, like nothing so yeah we got these sorcerers and mages who are basically in these similar situations. The only difference is the mages got the church and the sorcerers got evil sorcerer. <laughs> <laughs> evil brat. Evil brat. That's a better name. And then, oh my god. So, speaking of evil brat, he shows up, he sends like this vine thing toward well, he was trying before, to kill Alice. Before we get yeah, before we get, I kind of want to say Elias kind of appears and he gets the reasoning but he says um I think there was something important that he mentioned. Uh oh, where he kind of makes the decision to go for the chimeras and the evil brat because he knew the church would come to him later. So, yeah. he normally would not do something like this, but I think because he has a connection with Renfred and then uh, Chisei's gotten involved. That right. He decided, and he knows there's the church, so he decided to make the decision to help. And that's where the evil brat, as you continue. Okay, evil brat shows up, wants to kill Alice. That's his target. Yeah, because she explained what the mission was. Right, but Chisei steps in, pushes her out of the way, and gets st straight up stabbed in like the chest and not looking I, good. I'm like holy shit like I did not expect that at all I expect maybe like Alice to get killed but like well I don't think she says dead I think she's probably like on the verge of death but I yeah, don't well, think I don't think she can kill die the main character yeah. se seven episodes in yeah but still I was like holy shit I did not see that coming because it, it well it literally came out of nowhere and yeah, then, I knew if something was going to happen, like, I saw that thorn, I knew he was going to try killing Alice for talking too much. And I figured Chisei would make a move, but I did not expect her to get stabbed through the chest. Right. But then, holy shit. Elias loses his cool, as to be expected. And, first of all, the little brat looks kind of excited seeing, like, uh, Elias transform. Alice seems terrified because what she said, Master says he's something from a fairy tale. He's something that tries to pretend to be human. And she says, oh, he's much worse than that. Like, Yeah, he transforms. This thing is scary. This thing's scarier than the little mass thing in the graveyard. Elias is f freaky. And you're going to tell me, people are going to tell me that is not suspicious. How can someone turn into that and not be suspicious? Holy shit, that's like a... Damn demon! <laughs> hey man, you don't mess with someone who paid a lot of money for someone, okay? But before he transform, we also get like the 
the evil brat really doesn't understand what Chise means to him because he's like, oh, oh, I didn't mean to kill her, but you know what? She's just an experiment anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right, and the and the brat that knows definitely is going to be even more triggering. The brat knows Elise is. He called him by his, I guess, real name. Yes. Um. Called her a, called her a guinea pig, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to get to it so I can exactly read it. It's Pilius. It's Pil Pil Pilum Morales. Pilum Mor- Morales. Morales. Yeah, there it is. Pilum Morales. And it definitely so, shows a shot of I'm guessing the chimera behind the brat. It looks like. It looks like a chimera. Well, uh, it looks I, like a... To me, it looks more like a... Um, like a praying mantis? Praying mantis. Yeah, I but like, like... Because that was his claw that he controlled to go through Chise. A chimera... See, I don't know what lo- what um, chimera look they're going for. Obviously, chimera is a three-headed beast, typically. Yeah. Well, I think they mentioned goat, before is just... Dog or lion. Two magical creatures. Yeah, they said two magical creatures. So... Um, this one, it seems this is like a mixture of two beasts. I feel like the top half is human. If while looking at it, I feel like the torso and the head are gonna be like more humany. But damn, fucking Elias goes out like dude. That and was. And then the episode ends. I was like, oh my gosh, that's the end of the episode already. Like, yeah, that episode way more. felt super quick. Woo! That was insane. that basically does it for the episode discussion. So I want to go ahead and give our scores. Sure. Uh, you want me to go? Yeah, I'll go. go. Uh, actually, I'll give an eight and a half. It's just out like it's the show started up here and it just stays at that level the whole time. Like it just stays consistently good the whole time. I like. Chisei's development, you can see how far she's come as a character to little, timid, not afraid to die uh, character that felt no reason to live at all to, like, now she's learning magic, helping people, cares about others' well-beings, cares about death now. She's she's made a long way. Elias, I'm still suspicious about. But he seems to be... When he's with Chisei, he seems to be good. But, like, after seeing that... I'm kind of scared of him. That's terrifying. But, like, it's just, I like how the characters are all kind of, like, wrapping together. Like, you have Renfred and Alice, who are kind of doing their own thing. And now now the little sorcerer evil man is, like, bringing both of them together. And it helps us learn more about more characters. And it, But it doesn't feel, like, forced. It's just, I don't know, it's super enjoyable. Like, I'm... Like, this one was so enjoyable, it felt like 10 minutes. Like, it just went by so fast. But I'm always excited to watch the next episode. It's it's good. Yeah, so I'm giving it a 9, uh, first of all. <laughs> I love how we get more of Ren, Fred, and Alice and why they're in this situation. Uh, there's a lot of good backstory that comes out in this episode. We get, uh, again, Angelica is still there in some form or the other. She's... Like, she's not completely run out. She's, like, you don't need a character to be there in the episode to do something, which I like how they just, they got the ring from her. They actually need her to do it or show she did it. Right, they um, don't need, like, they don't need the character there to actually make a presence. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, and, of course, uh, the more development from uh, Chise, as you said, but also we get her showing her training magic but we don't need like a huge montage or anything <laughs> just a little like they would do in other shows uh we get her just learning a little bit like what's poisonous what's medicinal and she uses what she made in the first episode later in a conflict i like how they tie bits from an episode to later in the episode um but really i loved the first conflict between the evil brat and elias like I'm glad it wasn't just a, hey, they come up, they talk, or whatever. It's actually a big conflict that happens right out the gate. It's going to be, it seems like it's going to be a showdown next episode. Yes, like, this is, like, the best way I think you could introduce, like, the, like, good side of the characters. We're talking about Elias, like, and then the pure evil side. Um, 
usually a lot of times it's like small conflicts happen back and forth or they have like a conversation no they just go straight into it basically essentially trying to murder the main character on accident but it happens it and happens. it's just like we said the, the very it kept you in so well that you didn't realize how long the episode was uh you felt like there was going to be more but there wasn't and it's just a great ending and a great way to keep you ready for the next episode so i guess that does it for my score you know what time it is spiel time yes so thank you for watching be sure to like subscribe and share the video all that truly helps click the bell down below if you want to be notified whenever we upload and as always comment down below let us know what you thought about the episode what you didn't like did like uh maybe there was a point we missed that you want to mention uh again just no spoilers uh-oh uh-oh I think Justin just went away. Oh no. All right, I think Justin's Discord broke, so I'm going to take over from here. Th thanks for watching. <laughs> so until See ya.